Freestyle, I don't know. Never mind, here we just go. All right. I, <laughs> let me start over because it just started recording. So uh, we missed what I said a second ago, but oh well, it's all right. Um, I just want to thank you all for um, tuning in and watching this. You know, God is so good and he just wants me to bring something to the table. The Holy Spirit has been grabbing a hold of me today. Today I went out and I prayed for people. I went, I walked through Walmart and I just prayed for people and, and they were looking up at me like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. You know, I, I gave him my card. I didn't get a, an exact confirmation that they got healed. But you know what? The lady looked at me like I he, like like Jesus healed her. He, Jesus, and uh, you know, it wasn't the time to start recording. So you know, I'm, I told y'all I'd record and bring something to the table. But I'm gonna keep bringing it. You know, the Lord is good. Okay, and the, and the Lord is coming back. That's what that's what y'all need to understand. The Lord is coming back. He's coming back. We're gonna pray real quick and let the Holy Spirit. I don't have nothing planned. We're gonna let the Holy Spirit lead this message. Father God. Take over this message with your Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus. Rain it down on me, Father God. Anoint this anoint this message, Father God, so that way somebody can receive what they need to receive in Jesus' name. Show them the power that you have, Father God. The glorious power of Jesus Christ, Father God. I pray for this in the Holy Spirit to lead me in this. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. All right. Let's see. I don't know what we, we're just gonna we're gonna turn to the Bible and we're gonna read something. We're gonna let the we're gonna let the Lord flow today. We're just gonna let the Lord flow with it real quick. Okay. Let's just let's read something real quick. Goodness gracious. We're right here. We're just I turned to Jesus predicts his portrayal. You know that's just that's funny that we turned to that because you know we're in that season. We're in that season where you know Jesus Jesus got. He he got portrayed. He got betrayed by by Judas, and you know, and he he got on the cross, and you know they you know they they beat him. I mean, they 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 literally like just whipped him and whipped him and whipped him and whipped him. They whipped him and they whipped him. It was horrible what they did. It was horrible what they did with whips, with chains, all kinds of things. They did this, okay? Then they took him and made him carry the cross. They put him up on the cross, and he was probably the only person on this earth ever to never deserve anything like that. And he accepted that, so we could be redeemed, so the, the chains could be broken from us, so we could walk freely with him, so we could walk freely with the Lord Jesus. I just want to thank you, Jesus, for everything that you've done for me. And every one of us should be thanking the Lord Jesus Christ, because He's the only reason He came and made a way. For you and me, for all of us to make it to the glory, to, to, to heaven. To the only place that, you know, to paradise, basically. Paradise. I can tell you that right now. To paradise. Let's, just, let's, let's keep turning. I don't know what this page is just kind of funny. I don't normally have my Bible like that messed up. It's kind of messed up right here. You know what? This is what I'm, I'm going to read this right here. Jesus is the vine. The followers are the branches. This is, this is, this is good right here. We're going to preach right off this right here. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, what that means is every branch that does not bear fruit. If you're, if you're not doing works for Jesus Christ, if you're not out there, like, learning something new, okay, if you're just saved and you're just accepting Jesus, but you're just chilling, you know, we need to do something for Him. We need to, we need to bring people to Christ. You know, somebody brought you to Christ, so who, like, bring somebody to Christ. Show them how good He is. Okay, then we're going to go here. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that continues to bear fruit, he repeatedly prunes so that it will bear more fruit, even richer and finer fruit. You are already clean because of the word which I have given you, the teachings which I have discussed with you. Remain in me, and I will remain in you, just as no branch can bear fruit by itself without remaining in the vine, neither can you bear fruit producing evidence of your faith unless you remain in me. That's what I'm saying. We have to get out. If you want to bear more fruit, if you want to get more from Jesus Christ, you got to do something. Plug in the Bible. Learn something new tomorrow. Get out the Bible tonight. Get out the Bible tonight. Do something today for Jesus. Go pray for somebody. I can tell you what. I wish somebody would walk up to me in Walmart or the mall or somebody and pray for me. All those people I walked up to and pray for they were just so happy and they could feel the holy spirit because the holy spirit drugged me out of the house so grabbed me by my heart and pulled me to the pulled me to plant city in walmart and just they told me like the, i could feel where they were hurt and i could feel where their pain was and i asked this lady and i got a witness right here and i'll bring him i got a witness right here to prove this wait get over here just just hang in and say yeah i was there that's and I right. saw it. That's right, I was there. He was How there. Doing? He saw it. Folding laundry. Folding laundry, Wayne. <laughs> Wayne's folding laundry. <laughs> I love this dude. But anyways, so we, we but that's what we did. We walked around and we prayed for people. Bring the light to somebody. Bring Christ to somebody. Bring something good to somebody. Step out and give somebody a hug. Love somebody for Jesus. 
You know, brain, you know, nothing's going to happen to this world. Everybody looks around like, this world looks just horrible. Like, I was just saying, I don't know what I'm going to do. This really sucks. You know, but it, it's not cool. You know why it's not cool? Because we're not spreading the love for Jesus. We need to spread the love for Jesus Christ. You're going to look out and be like, oh, man, that's not good. That person, they shouldn't do that. You know, these people are doing this. You know, these kids are doing this. Well, step up and do something. Do something for Jesus Christ. Don't just stand there and say, you know, that, oh, oh, this stuff's going on. You know, this isn't good. We need to do something. You need to do it. You need to do it. Everybody needs to do it. They all need to step up. They all need to step up. We all need to step up. Lord Jesus, thank you for your glorious power, Father God. Thank you. Father God, Jesus, thank you, Lord, I can feel it, Father God, thank you for your Holy Spirit. Right here, it says, the Holy Spirit promised, but now I am going to him who sent me, and none of you ask me where are you going, but because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your hearts and taken complete possession of them. But I tell you the truth, it is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the helper, comforter, advocate, intercessor, counselor, strengthener, stand by, will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him the Holy Spirit, is what he's talking about here. The Holy Spirit to you to be in close fellowship with you. If we receive the, the Holy Spirit, just right, everyone say right now, help me, Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is there to help you. The Lord will send the Holy Spirit. I pray that all the time. And you know what? I'm sitting over here on my, on my, at my table and I'm doing, I'm doing like a message, just preparing, just working, reading the Bible a little bit. And the Holy Spirit grabs a hold of me and is like trying to pull me out the door. And I said, Wayne, Wayne, we got to leave. I don't know what's going on. I was like, my dog, Wayne. You know, I just was like, we got to get out of here, bro. We got to leave. We got to leave. And we got to do something. And the Lord just pulled me. He's like, bro, I can feel it too, bro. I can feel it too. So we left. And we just started, we went to Plant City. We started praying for people. I, I, you know, I believe the Lord healed the first lady. You know, we didn't get a confirmation because I didn't ask her. But she looked up at me and like her eyes were so bright. And she's like, oh my goodness, thank you. She was so excited that we did that. It's about spreading love. It's about doing things for Jesus Christ. It's about getting out of there, stepping out of the box for him he stepped out of the box and got on that cross so that way you could get to heaven so step out of the box for him and tell somebody about jesus christ you don't have to be like excited as i am you know you can you can chill and do it you know what i'm saying like maybe i should chill out a little bit but right now i'm feeling the holy spirit and i feel jesus christ and i love him i love him but you know what? Step out of the box. Step out of the box. Go tell somebody, hey, you know, I love you, you know, and Jesus loves you. You know, it's not, fr you know, that per that thing that's in your ear telling, no, don't do that. Don't pray for that person. That's an evil thing. That's that's something we need to get past. You know, we can talk about what's going on in this world, but we're really, we need to step out of the box and do something for it. We need to do something for Jesus. You know, what, are you, what, what can we do? You know, I, I, goodness gracious. I really want to preach right now, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna let's 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 turn one more page and let's see where the Lord takes us today. Let's just let's just find, let's just where does the Lord want us to go? You know, let's see. Sharing among believers. Now the company of believers was of a, of one heart and soul, and now one of them claimed that anything belonging to him was exclusively his own, but everything was common property and for the use of all, and that which ability and power of the apostles were continuously testifying to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and great grace, God's remarkable loving kindness and favor and goodwill restricted richly upon them all. There was not a needy person among them because those who were owned of the land or houses were selling them and bringing the, the proceeds of the, the sales and placing the money down at the apostles' feet. Then it was dis distributed to each as any as anyone had need. Now Joseph and Levi, narrative of Cyrus and I'm sorry, native of Cyrus, who was surnamed Barnabas by the apostles, which translated means son of encouragement. You know, if that's all we're doing, if that's all we're doing is just encouraging another Christian, if we can just inspire another Christian to bring somebody to Jesus, or just tell somebody about Jesus, you know, don't just sit there and talk, you know, hey, we, we, we don't need to do this, you know, we don't need to do this, you know, don't listen to those lies in your head, you're fighting your flesh and you're fighting the lies that the evil ones are sending to you, don't do that, let Jesus lead you, if your heart tells you to pray for that person, pray for that person, if that, your heart tells you to do something, do it, it's Jesus probably telling you to do it, get up, stand up for him, let's do this.
Father God, I just want to thank you for bringing this short little message from me, Father God. I just want to get these people turned up every single day. I can turn them up for Jesus and bring and bring the word of the gospel to them, Father God. I just want to pray that you touch these people. I want to pray, Father God, for my grandma, Father God. She's got a surgery. If y'all could keep my grandma in her prayers, she's got a surgery on Tuesday. Keep her in her prayers, Father God. I just want to pray for this, Father God, that the people, they, they, they receive what they need to receive out of this, Jesus. I want to thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank y'all.